So, Taryn, you had a bit of a blinder today. How did you feel about the game? Um, I think we did well. Uh, the first half was a bit of a struggle. It was kind of um, hard to get into for some reason, but uh, I think the second half we kind of turned it around and played a bit more of our soccer and um, just kept it, the ball on the ground and kept it a lot more. So uh, it was a good game. What did you say to you guys at halftime? Because after the half, there was a bit more urgency on the ball from the whole side. Yeah, we just talked about uh, playing simple and trying to keep it one and two touch. Um, or just playing smart. If you, you don't have to play one touch, if you have time, just try not to think too much. And um, just basically, she told us to just try and play simple. So, yeah. Two goals. You must be excited. Loving this W League. Yeah, two goals so far. Um, hopefully I get more. Uh, it's good to be back at forward. So it's kind of fun to switch it up every once in a while, but it was good to come back and get a goal again. So that was exciting. <laughs> Tell us, how did you come to the W League and, and how have you enjoyed it so far? Uh, I came down here with Leah Blaney. She's not, um, she was injured, so she's not actually on the team now, but uh, she, we played in Boston together and uh, looking for something to do in the off season. And so found out about the W League and came down here and um, it's been really good. It's great to be able to play games. Uh, I wouldn't be able to do that at home right now. So playing all the getting game time and um, practices every week is really good. So, And it also seems um, like the whole Canberra team, your touch, your technique has just improved out of sight and, and playing some really good football. Yeah, it's definitely, um, we've been working really hard. Uh, we have a, a really good skills coach um, who does quarter with us once a week, so that's nice um, to get a lot of touches on the ball and uh, just keep practices intense, so yeah. Uh, tell us a bit about back home. You play with the Boston Breakers and uh, you must be excited to see that the WPS is coming back for next season. Yeah, I'm really excited. It was kind of scary there for a second, but you know, it's really great that we had all the support we did. and. Um, it got back on its feet and we're going to go ahead and get another season so I'm really excited to go back and play. Yeah, and looking at what's happening over there with the WPS, um, obviously there needs to be another, te another team for the next season and two more teams for the following season. Do you think that's realistic and um, what, do you think that that's actually going to happen? You know, I think if um, we continue down this path, I think we, we kind of got a shock and hopefully people are working towards it all year and I think everyone's obviously and has been on the same path but um, sometimes it's been up and down whether or not you know this team's gonna make it or what are we gonna do so I think I think now that we know you know this has to happen to keep the league alive this has to happen the next year it's gonna be um, I think it's realistic and we can do it yeah <laughs> tell us a little bit about um what your plans are for the next couple of years um, playing football? Um, I don't really know. I'm trying. I'm kind of going year by year right now, uh, depending on how things go with our league, um, how I feel about soccer, how my body feels. So um, right now, I want to keep playing as long as I can. So we'll see how long that is. But yeah, it's kind of day by day right now. Yeah. Fantastic. Thanks for your time. Yeah, no Good. problem. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank